Hey everybody, it's Shane from Norman S. Wright. A couple months ago, I visited Spirotherm just outside of Chicago, and they gave me a demonstration of their vacuum degasser. So I want to show you that today. So let's get started. <music> About a year ago, I did a video on air and dirt separators. I'll put a link to it below, but here's a quick overview. When you design a hydronic system, the operating parameters for selection are basically ideal operating conditions. But even in a closed loop system, no hydronic system is airtight. Air can get in through tiny fissures around gaskets and seals. During maintenance or repair, water will be lost and replaced by new water, which also has dissolved air in it. So let's move this over. Water isn't just water. It also carries dissolved gases like oxygen and nitrogen. In nature, a typical amount of dissolved oxygen in water is between six and 10 parts per million, depending on the temperature and pressure. Cold water holds more air. And while having dissolved water is great for fish, especially in a cold mountain spring, it's not great for HVAC systems. Air trapped in water lines causes three major problems, corrosion, where oxygen reacts with metal, leading to rust and pitting inside pipes, pump cavitation, air bubbles in the pump cause knocking sounds and reduce efficiency, and reduced heat transfer. Air pockets act as insulation, making systems less effective. So that brings me to the Spirotherm vacuum degasser that I saw last fall. I'll show the video of the unit in action in a minute, but first let's talk about what's going on. The vacuum degasser is about the size of a large suitcase, about 40 inches by 26 by 15, which makes it especially good for existing systems or tight spaces. Unlike inline air separators, which is the video I did last year, the vacuum degasser handles batches of water at a time. As a batch of system water comes into the vacuum degasser through a bypass, the pressure is reduced to below zero PSI. Dissolved gases stay in water because they're under pressure. The higher the pressure, the more gases can stay dissolved. Imagine opening a bottle of soda. The bubbles immediately rise to the top and leave the bottle because you reduce the pressure. As the pressure is reduced in the vacuum degasser, the air comes out of solution and then the undersaturated water is returned to the system. And the air that's been collected is released through an automatic vent. This cycle repeats until all the air is removed from the system. A smart vent valve in the vacuum degasser will pause the degassing process once no air is detected during venting. It also has a refill makeup water option to process fresh water before it's introduced into the system. You would want to install it at the point with the lowest temperature because just like the mountain stream, the cold water is where most of the dissolved gases will be found in the system. So let's watch the video now. The pressure is reduced to below zero PSI and you can see the air bubbles from the gases as they come out of solution. And then the air is vented out as the next batch of water enters. Let's watch it one more time, but close up. Let's pull everything back on screen. It's also super easy to install. It only requires two three quarter inch connections and plugs into a standard 115 volt outlet. So that's the Spirotherm vacuum degasser. As always, you can ask your Norman Wright salesperson if you have any questions about this or any of the other systems I've discussed. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please put them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.